So I'm going to be doing another video. Um, this is my witchy room tour before I start packing up. Ignore the mess. I am literally picking up trash. There's stuff everywhere. So I'm just going to go ahead and give you a witchy room tour. So this is my little office space while I work because I do work from home. So I'm going to go ahead and start on the stuff over here. So this is my little deck I do when I'm over here working and stuff and I need to pull a card for the day. I just pull one. With God, all things are possible. Just to help me get through a day. Do the day. And this is what I like to call my little grounding center when I'm working and stuff. I just like to sit here and pull cards. I have some extra candles in here for when I need to do spell work and I don't want to go in my closet there. I'll just grab a candle from here. So I have a little white candle here, purple one. I have some eggshells right here. Um, I have a little uh, refresh, reconnect, recharge, relaxing candle. I have pictures of me and my fiance. I just have some stuff up there for work. Um, yeah, I have some, I have my book here for when I do readings, my laptop, my other laptop, some books under here, and I'm about to do some videos on for book reviews. I have my closet in here, which has like all my paperwork and other witchy stuff up in here. Yep, I have like candles in here, eggshells, candles, more Florida water, water sorry <laughs> y'all it's like two o'clock in the morning for me florida water um i have a saint joseph candle yeah i'm tired i'm going to bed after this i have a saint joseph candle i have like more candles in here yeah yeah more candles stuff in here i have like herbs and stuff in there not herbs like spices incense yeah so yeah that's what i have i have some my other tarot decks in here so yeah and then my altars so i have my oh i have my ancestor altar right here so picture, these people are alive right now still, but I still put them up here. I have my crystal that has my energy on it. Marie Laveau, um, offering bowl, a candle, my grandmother, and a watch. I just have a small little ancestor altar because the last one I had, I lost a lot of their stuff. So that's great. So then we're going to go over here to St. Jude's altar. Oh, y'all know how this is going to go. So we have a little um thing where i put money in his bird statue uh, all purpose um oil for him um his candle his working candle a money angel an empty jar for anything i want to put in here his little cauldron his rosary that he loves so much but i gotta get him a new one i gotta get him a new one and then my main working altar of course my main working altar y'all know I have a picture of Jesus up here, his cross, some lavender um, incense, some salt, um, reversing oil, blessed oil, frankincense oil, protection oil, holy water. Um, I have my rosary here that I use when I do my spells. Um, I have two working candles going right now. Protection candle, another working candle. I don't have it going right now. His offering, that's a jar. That's a working going right now. That's a done working. That's already happened. That was a curse I had to do. 
that just holds candles. That's my cloaking candle for when I'm doing spells. My selenite stone. Um, offerings of money. This holds my crystals for them when I work with them. Um, my little cauldron to burn incense in or candles. Um, my eggshell for sage. Um, my graveyard dirt. My um, black pepper. My cinnamon. I'm getting ready to do a um, moving spell for um soon in one of the videos so i have some stuff together that i'm going to use for it so for the moving spell itself i have my bible here um i have a spell underneath here and pictures that i can't really show under here because i'm doing a, um, a curse this week before i leave here so i gotta get the curse done so that's all i'm gonna say but yes that is my main altar right here and under here I have the salt under there, some dead roses, a um, thing right there that I burned like my paper in. Um, like when I write sigils and when I'm doing spells and I write people's names on them or something, I'll burn it in that and that's an extra plate, salt. That has some roses in it, a book right there, um, the Encyclopedia of Spirits. So yeah, that's all that's under there. And then Archangel Michael, yes, Archangel Michael's altar. I just have a candle going for him right now. His working candles, his broken statue, which I have to get him a new one. A uh, candle charging right now. Incense holder, his little decorations. I give him every year. And of course our red pillowcase blanket <laughs> for him. And then some crystals, of course, his crystals. I love using when I'm working with him. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I have for you guys. Um, Oh no, I do have more altars here. So I'm in my room now. So this is St. Mary's altar. I can't believe I forgot about this, but she wanted to be moved on here with me and my fiance's pictures and our cards and everything. This hasn't been taken down yet. So like me and my fiance put this together and it was just the pictures of me and him, our cards, like the stuff that he got me for my birthday and our anniversaries, right? Well, St. Mary told me two months ago that she wanted to be moved here with our stuff. And so I put her two candles here, her offering cup and her crystal here. So she's been fine here. Well, so, it's just a crazy story. So, so look, this is what you got. You got my fiance's love card he gave me. All the cards are little together is our favorite place to be. Are his flowers, you know, a vase back there, a candle, our pictures, um, a crystal of hers, her two candles, her offering cup, love, and our picture, of course. So this is where she wanted to be. So we're going to leave her here. And this is where she's going to be. So probably going to keep her there. I don't know. I'm going to put, try to put her on the main altar whenever we move into our new place, but I don't know. She really wants to be by us, which is a good thing because um, she's been keeping us good. Anytime there's a problem, I go to her and light these candles and just sit here and meditate on my fiance, no matter what. It just grounds me so good. And even when we're fighting, it just heals us really quick. So she's a really good healer. So next altar I want to show you is actually my fiance's personal. Ignore the mess. I'm cleaning is his like best friend Mackenzie's altar. This is her little angel statue. His favorite cologne that's right next to, like in her altar, cause he feels like she likes it. So she, he put it there. Um, some, an eagle bell, another little angel statue, a big angel, a candle that he uses when he wants to talk to her. He just lights it up and he talks to her and then a little love um, letter thing right here. And that broke, but it's okay. So that's her little altar. And then that's her little angel thing I got her for Christmas last year. And that's our picture. So yeah, that's pretty much all the altars we have. So yeah, so I hope you guys liked this video. Um, leave a comment down below what you thought of this video. And subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Love you guys. Bless be.